there will be a lot of Tesla semis next time, and today's episode will have quite a few interesting updates. If you've ever thought that the Tesla semi truck was in production hell due to the lack of increase in numbers since its launch in 2017, well, you might be correct, but you'll soon change your mind once the semi factory is completed and production ramps up quickly. However, the new semi Gen 2 is the highlight of this acceleration period. It's going to blow everyone's mind with its revealed adjustments, a new design and a new battery pack. Amazing! Check it out now! Before diving into the new plans for the Semi Gen 2, we clearly need to explain why Tesla hasn't produced many Semi trucks since first deliveries in 2022, which amounted to only about 20 units, possibly more, as neither Tesla or Pepsi disclosed the detailed numbers, but currently Pepsi has around 36 units. In October 2023, we learned that Tesla has built about 70 Tesla Semi trucks, and the company is using them for internal purposes with a primary customer, Pepsi. According to verified sources, there are three main reasons why the semi-production has been so limited. The first is that Elon did not yet have an automated electric truck production line. We don't know if you know this, but the truth is that a truck manufacturing plant typically makes trucks by hand. What we mean by that is that they're primarily handcrafted, whether it's China, North America. Once they complete a Class 8 truck with 70% manual labor, well, that's extremely common. In fact, the process of truck manufacturing is not involving assembly lines. Well, that's practiced in lots of countries across the world. Obviously, it takes a lot of time, not to mention the additional complexity of making an electric truck. The limited production of Tesla semis partly due to delays with a 4680 battery. Although it's effectively using the 2170 battery, that's not what Elon ultimately wants. Do you know why? It's simply because the 4680 battery will be the biggest leverage to cut the price of the Tesla Semi from its rumored quarter million dollars. The 4680 battery will lower production costs by about 20 to 30 percent compared to the 2170. This is due to the new use of technology and a larger battery structure, which helps reduce material and manufacturing costs. With its bigger size, the 4680 battery can store more energy, increasing efficiency and reducing the number of batteries needed per vehicle, thereby decreasing the weight, an especially important factor for the Tesla Semi. Musk confirmed earlier this year that the Semi will be sold to external customers by 2026. If the big rig isn't affordable, it will continue to be ordered mainly by large transport companies. The final reason we haven't seen more of these electric trucks on the road is that the current version of the semi is not the official production version. As Dan Priestley told us, it remains a prototype undergoing evaluation and feedback from Pepsi. There are still lots of modifications to be made. Until the comprehensive assessment is complete, the production volume of the semi is going to stay limited. What's the latest plan for the Tesla Semi and what changes will Elon Musk make? About a year from now, no more than exactly 17 months from now, until the end of 2025, Tesla's going to start mass production of semi trucks. This is very important because the number could be 50,000 units a year produced as Elon once set out. This is hard to believe, right? 50,000 units for Model Y, Model 3, or Cybertruck is a small thing, but if it's semi, then it's a problem. Of course, to achieve this number, producing the big rig in a Nevada factory is next to impossible. But of course, the new semi factory is going to solve this problem. That means semi truck is going to be made in both areas, inside the current Nevada factory and an expanded facility next door dedicated to the electric truck. By comparison, about 200,000 heavy-duty trucks are sold annually in the U.S. With the capability to produce 50,000 units a year, Tesla's factory could cover a quarter of all heavy-duty trucks sold annually in the United States. Regarding the new big rig production location, semi-program head Dan Priestley posted the new rendering on X of the completed look of the upcoming semi-factory at Gigafactory, Nevada. Notably, the rendering includes the word semi on the top of the building, as well as a ton of semi docking facilities lining the exterior of the site. Tesla's completed grading and drainage work for the future factory. Additionally, Tesla's finished digging the foundation trenches for the perimeter and the individual footings. Foundation work is now complete in an area equivalent to one-third of the factory's floor space. These floatings are essential for transferring the weight of the heavy machinery to be installed at the Tesla Semi Factory to a more stable ground. The original plan for Semi Factory was to start construction in January 2023. However, due to the impact of the pandemic and various other reasons, the construction got delayed by nearly a year. At the start of January this year, Tesla finally began moving some land and started building at the factory site. 
By the end of July, shipments of steel and other materials had begun arriving at the site, indicating that progress is being made. The expansion project is expected to add 6,500 full-time employees to the site between semi and the 4680 battery manufacturing facilities. The expansion is estimated to cost around $3.6 billion and will add approximately 4 million square feet of production space. Regarding the expected completion date of the semi-factory, Tesla announced in April that the plan for the factory is to be completed next year and for production of the Tesla semi-trucks to start in late 2025. Trucks are priced around $200,000, though an exact price has not been confirmed. The real-world range has been tested at about 400 miles, with some reports indicating that it can reach up to 500 miles. By 2026, Tesla aims to make 50,000 Tesla semis annually. Semi-Truck Gen 2 Massive Change As we've explained, one reason why there aren't many semis on the market yet is that the trucks are still in the testing phase and aren't yet the official version of semi. Currently, the electric trucks available are just the day cab Gen 1 version. As Sawyer Merritt, a major investor who frequently updates on official information from Elon and Tesla, has stated, the Tesla semis that are currently on the road are Gen 1. The Gen 2 semis will come in the near future with the opening of their volume production facility in Nevada. Additionally, Dan Priestley heads the Tesla Semi program, and he's revealed details about the Semi Gen 2, saying, Eventually, we will do a sleeper cab where we can send drivers out for multiple days at a time as we expand the charging network. Clearly, the current Semi still has uh, several unresolved issues. Despite being able to travel 500 miles on a single charge and setting a record in the run on less competition by covering over 1,000 miles in a day with minimal charging time. However, the Semi truck lacks one crucial feature. Its interior isn't yet fully equipped for driver comfort. It doesn't have a sleeping area or amenities for long-haul routes that span multiple days, and that's why Tesla needs to introduce the Semi Gen 2. Apparently, the new version will come when two conditions are met. One is the completion of the Semi factory, and two is when Tesla expands more 750 kilowatt megachargers across North America. So, the next generation of the big rig will finally arrive in 2025 with tons of cool changes. So, what adjustments are expected to be made to Semi Gen 2? With this new version, Tesla plans to start by adjusting and upgrading the Semi's cabin to include a sleeper feature. One of the most controversial aspects of the Semi's interior has been the driver's seat position and its minimalist design, which many find less appealing. What do you think about the possibility of Tesla engineers moving the driver's seat from the center to the left side as seen in traditional trucks? According to drivers at Pepsi, the current central seat position provides a great vision and allows for a comprehensive view of the front area. But most believe that when observing the rear and the sides, visibility is a bit more limited. In addition, optimizing the space to add a sleeper is also difficult with this center driver's seat. So we would not be surprised if Semi-Gen 2 no longer has a center driver's seat. The redesign of the cab also means that the dimensions of the truck are going to change quite a bit. It will no longer have the current overall length of 20 feet 9 inches, width of 8 feet 6 inches, and height of 13 feet. Instead, everything will increase to fit a sleeper cab version. The larger size means Tesla will need to adjust the chassis design to support the new structure. Furthermore, we found that this expansion causes a significant problem related to the initial weight of the electric truck. In the case of the semi-new variant keeping the 900 kilowatt hour battery pack with an increased size, the weight will no longer be 20,000 pounds or 23,000 pounds like the current version. It will definitely increase. However, if there is a trade-off, it would be a different story. What we mean is that Tesla might need to reduce the size of the battery pack to balance the total changes inside so it doesn't increase the original weight or decrease its total cargo capacity. Clearly, there are many Class 8 electric trucks on the market today, such as Volvo, VNRE, BYD ATT, Freightliner eCascadia, and Peterbilt 579 that perform well with ranges under 300 miles. The semi could potentially lower its range from 500 miles to something lower to accommodate the added weight from the expanded cabin. What's your take on that? Not stopping at just cabin tweaks, Dan Priestley revealed a shocking piece of information not long ago when the low voltage architecture of the Tesla semi will be completely changed in the semi Gen 2. 
Remember, the Gen 1 version of the Tesla Semi launched in 2017 only used 12 and 24 volt systems for the brake and lights. At that time, 48 volt architecture was still a far fetched concept, but now Dan Priestley has confirmed that the Gen 2 Semi will adopt the same 48 volt architecture as the Cybertruck, promising unprecedented improvements in noise and vibration reduction. The 48-volt system is not just an upgrade, it's a quantum leap, reducing noise and vibration from the motor to an incredible level, while also improving the Tesla Semi's regenerative braking capabilities. With higher voltage and lower current, the wiring system is thinner, lighter, and uses less copper, saving Tesla a lot of money. But the most surprising thing is the overall weight reduction, making the Gen 2 Semi not only faster but also surprisingly more efficient. But clearly, Tesla Semi still has challenges with a larger cabin. And what we have yet to figure out is that if the Tesla Semi has a larger cabin and increased wheelbase, the Tesla electric truck will increase the turning radius, making the Semi truck unable to maneuver easily in some tight spaces. Tesla Semi New Battery Obviously, Tesla has not announced or confirmed any major changes to the Tesla Semi battery packs. But we believe there's enough reason for Tesla not to continue using the 2170 for its upcoming electric trucks. It's no longer efficient and has become obsolete in the face of a series of much more powerful and potential batteries. In Tesla's third quarter 2022 earnings call, when Elon Musk was asked how to balance 4680 to divide evenly between Cybertruck, Model Y, and Semi, Musk frankly answered that Semi will not use the 4680. The truth is, is that at a time when 4680 batteries were still somewhat vague in both quantity and quality, Elon had no intention of using 4680 for semi. You know, the 2022 Model Y manufacturer in Texas used the first generation 4680 pack, but it became a big failure, a wrong decision, because it was even worse than 2170 in terms of energy density, and Tesla gave up on it soon after. Tesla then developed the 4680 battery into a more advanced second generation used for the Cybertruck. It's called Cybercell. And finally, the latest success, the third generation 4680 with dry cathode has officially been produced and this is the battery pack put into Tesla Semi to make the electric truck cheaper and more powerful as the 4680 Gen 3 significantly cuts costs by eliminating expensive steps compared to Cybercell, but the energy density of these cells is much higher. The 4680 new version is also manufactured in Nevada, which makes all the more sense to put them in your electric truck. In the event that the Tesla Semi doesn't use the 4680, Tesla could switch to Cattle Shenxing Plus LFP batteries, which are fast charging and much cheaper to make. It was also previously reported that Tesla has received manufacturing equipment and machinery from a Chinese supplier to set up Cattle LFP battery line at its Nevada factory. And if that's true, we'd expect the new specs of these batteries to go into Tesla's pickup trucks. Yeah, it would be kind of weird if those batteries were shipped anywhere but right next to Tesla's pickup trucks. Tesla Semi Next Gen Price we are not confident in saying that the semi-new version will be cheaper than the current one, but it's clearly a huge improvement with a sleeper and advanced technical customizations. However, what's shocking is that the price will be incredibly attractive compared to what customers will get. An incredibly perfect semi-truck that fixes all the shortcomings of the Gen 1. The price tag of $250,000 to $300,000 may surprise many people. Yeah, that's a big number, but let us explain why it's actually worth it. Going back to 2017, when Tesla first introduced its electric truck, Tesla Semi, with a range of 500 miles, was leaked at a price of $180,000. By 2022, when some units were delivered to Pepsi, the price was revealed to be $250,000. Elon didn't comment on this, but Pepsi's South Sacramento bottling plant bought 18 units after using $4.5 million in funding. Now, with a refined Gen 2 version of the Semi and improvements to the cabin interior, battery, and voltage architecture, Customers can pay an additional $50,000 or so to own it. Is it really worth it? When it comes to Tesla's new models, the initial price is always at its highest and may not meet all expectations right away. However, the price will gradually decrease over time to stabilize in the market. Therefore, the price of the Tesla Semi with upgraded equipment will change significantly from the initial launch date. Furthermore, Tesla is planning to expand its manufacturing facilities and improve its charging infrastructure, which will further reduce the cost of the semi when combined with 4680 batteries.
According to Tesla's cost analysis, customers can save up to $200,000 in the first three years. On average, customers will spend a total of $250,000 on maintenance and fuel costs, which will be saved through electrification. Electricity costs less than half as much as fuel, and EVs have fewer components, so maintenance costs are going to be a lot lower than diesel engines. One of the things that we love about electric trucks, not just the Tesla Semi, but electric trucks in general, is that traditional large diesel trucks are often kind of unsafe. Electric trucks fundamentally address this issue because they offer significantly more power and torque, and that enables them to climb hills more safely and efficiently. According to Freightliner, one of the largest truck manufacturers and a major competitor to Tesla, a long-haul truck driver can spend hundreds of hours in their truck every week. This is supported by PepsiCo's use of Tesla semi-trucks for deliveries, operating 12 hours a day on short regional routes. Therefore, enhancing the Tesla semi to a better version will ultimately provide drivers with an unprecedented driving experience. Many retired truck drivers have stated that if the Tesla semi had been widely available earlier, it might have extended their careers. How do you see this semi factory and plan? Do you think that Tesla will increase the number more in 2025? Share us your opinion and let us know. Goodbye and hope to see you again. God bless. Thank you.